Hey guys, in this video we are going to be doing the hack sudo from Bonehop. In hack sudo, we are going to be able to do LFI, local file inclusion, and then we are going to be able to execute um, remote file inclusion. So, uh, we haven't done any of those. Uh, so, this is the first one with the remote file inclusion. So it is really easy. Um, the only tricky part about this is that we are going to have to be, we are going to have to fuzz uh, one of the um, another a different parameter. So we're going to find the parameter that actually lets us do LFI and see if that works. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean. So if we go to the search um, one that PHP. Uh, we can see that we have a search one that PHP in here and always take a look at the source code the source source code could give you a lot of information and let me go ahead and make this bigger or zoom in and in here where is it oh, over here you can see that um, we can find or, or we can see that we are actually using um, different like parameters you can see that this one is using fuzz that contact submit so you can see that it's doing some file inclusion with PHP um, but here's one that says fuzz and there's another one that says me so if we want to actually find out which one is the one that is working um, what you could do is you can run w fuzz and just fuzz this parameter over here and then include one of the files that actually resides on the server so let me tell you what I mean by that my, let me go ahead and make this bigger so what we're going to be using is this command over here so wfuzz right we're going to in, uh, add a word list which is the user share word list derb big one and we want to go into the 10 10 10 11 search one the php um, question mark and we want to find this parameter to see which one is the one that actually works and for this one hw288 so let's go ahead and enter that and start fussing. So here it's going to go over this entire entire word list and it's going to see if we can find a parameter that actually works with um, e uh, equals to about that PHP. You can see that we found one already. So we can go ahead and cancel this. Um, so we fuzz the whole thing because it, it actually gives you like a hint. You need to use W fuzz, right? You used to fuzz this parameter but I actually just did it with the about, right? And we saw that we were able to find that me, me um, works. So what we can do to test this is that we can try to do the Etsy password to see if that works. So let's go ahead and go search one um, question mark me equals to Etsy, um, Etsy PSWD. And we can see that we do have LFI over here. So that is actually working. So one of the things that I want to test is RFI. RFI stands for Remote File Inclusion. Remote File Inclusion, the way that it works is that um, this server is going to be able to connect to my server and, and download a, a file from my server. So to test this theory, what we need to do is, um, let's go ahead and cancel this again. We can go ahead and clear this and we're going to spin a Python 3 um, HTTP server. Um, and we're going to put it on port 1234. That works fine. So now what we want to do is from this um, file inclusion, we want to see if we have remote file inclusion by going to HTTP, whack, whack, 10.10.10.5, 10 10 colon 1234, which is the port and just try to download anything right just to go to red or whatever and we can see that we have some hints over here that means that we have remote file inclusion okay so that's getting really good really juicy so now what I want to do after this is I want to go ahead and copy the oh, actually let me go ahead and open in a new tab over here because I want to keep running my HTTP server actually in 1234 because we need to we need that for the website to or for the web server to download my um, my php reverse shell so the one that i want to copy is going to be in the user share load load the num wordpress 
templates php reversal and we are going to put it that meaning that we want to copy it in here ls we can see it that it is in here so now if we do a nano php reverse shell um, even if we scroll all the way down dun, 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 what we need to change are the so we need to change the ip and we also need to change the port so over here my ip is the local ip of my Kali Linux machine and then the port where i'm going to be listening at um 888 should be fine for me should work let's go ahead and say yes now i want to actually change the name for this reverse uh php reverse shell i want to name it just reverse that php okay if we do a cat to reverse that php we scroll all the way up i want to make sure that we actually get that we got those changes 10 10 10 5 and 8888 which is where we're going to be listening at let's go ahead and open another tab or actually we can just i guess we can just stay on this tab and what we want to do is we want to start listening at port 8888 which is what my reverse shell has i have my http server running on the same directory where that reverse.php is at so now what we need to do is we need to go into the um we need to go into this server again and we are going to try to download my php reverse shell so we are going to look for reverse that php There we go. You can see that I got downloaded. It was able to it was able to get it. And then over here we now have our reverse shell. You see how that works? So we went from local file inclusion inclusion. We tested to see if RFI was working, which is remote file inclusion. It then we created a uh, we copied the uh, PHP reverse shell to my machine. I put in my Kali Linux. Um, IP address and the port we left it at 8888 so we started listening at 8888 um, and since I was hosting it on my reverse.php file on my Kali Linux machine I was able to get it from this website and the website what it did was it downloaded it and then it executed that reverse.php file and I was able to get a reverse shell through that reverse that PHP file. And if you do ID and you do host name, awesome. So that is working. So let's go ahead and cancel this. Um, so now, if you also don't know, I'm going to start listening again. And all I need to do is just go to reverse that PHP in here. And I can get back with that reverse shell because it was downloaded it. And now it just it is hosting it on this um, on the main directory of the website. So if I executed it, no, it didn't find reverse.php. Oh, I guess it did not save it. It just reverse the PHP. Hmm, I think it was gonna be there, but yes, yeah, the same one. I guess it wasn't it wasn't saved. But well, you we can just go ahead and download it again, and we can see it over here. How about if we do not listen to it? And we just go ahead and download it again there we go we downloaded it and let's see if we are now able to see it no it's still the url was not found on the server okay so you just downloaded it and actually and and you just didn't save it all right that is fine but here's how we get a, another reverse shell right we just got to keep hosting that um, reverse that php file but guys, this is it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. How to go from local file inclusion to remote file inclusion and then to um, reverse shell or backdoor. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Like always, bye-bye.